Good Monday morning to you. It is Monday the 1st of May. What? I'm sure when I last did weekly vlogs I was just like, oh my god, it's November, what the hell? It's May. When did that happen? Um, so, welcome to a new weekly vlog. Um, I gathered last week's wasn't that exciting for you and I do apologise for that. I don't think that this week is going to be any more exciting. I'm just trying to think what I'm doing work-wise. No, I think I'm doing late Tuesday, so there'll probably be no vlog at all, um, or entries from Tuesday. Then I'm normal the rest of the week, which still means I get home reasonably late. But anyway, I'll see what I can do. Um, but today, it is a bank holiday, so we're probably just going to stay like this all day we being me and this one because he came down yay makes a change um so yeah i don't know like i said i don't think i'm gonna vlog anything weather's pretty questionable i wanted to go for a walk today really um but i don't think it's gonna happen so we shall see and you shall see later morning it's Tuesday the 2nd of May um this vlog might be taking a turn today I just wanted to talk to you um this morning it's quarter of eight I was meant to go to work today and I was meant to start at half past nine so I was gonna leave a little after eight o'clock to get to go get the train down to work now, as you may be able to tell by my tone of voice, I'm not going in today. Um, and I just wanted to kind of share this moment with you and this, maybe this day with you. So, like I said, the vlog may be cut short purely for the fact that I'm going to ramble so much because I really don't have anyone else to talk to. Well, I have a couple of people to talk to, um, like I've just texted my friend Carrie and my sister, um, but I just kind of wanted to actually physically talk and rant and stuff. So, here we are. Basically, the long and short of it is, that's Carrie, hang on, yeah. So, the long and short of it is, and I know this is going to seem like I'm just copying everyone. I am really not. It's something I've suffered with for... I was around 16, so... Seven years? I've suffered with anxiety and depression. Um, more often than not, I don't let it get to me. Um, but I'm one of those people that... I take in quite a lot and then I explode so basically well I don't I don't even know where to start my life has just been freaking roller coaster for basically the last 12 months I had a bit of a pretty shit patch last year really stressful like I was physically ill um, through stress that was resolved I even had to quit my job to attempt to resolve it so that in turn made another problem I was unemployed I had no money coming in I had bills to pay everything else so I let that get on top of me as you do because you worry naturally as a human um, and then me and Joe, like you know we made things official and everything was good and we were happy and everything was fine I was in another well albeit temporary I was in another job so I had money coming in to be able to pay bills and then that was fine um that shortly ended the start of December just before we went to Iceland so we had a nice holiday we had Christmas we had everything else and even Joe was just like don't worry about work for now just let's you know be happy let's enjoy this time that we have blah 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 so I did um, and then in January I went to France with my mum 
I went to stay over there. I went to help her out because she's been having some personal problems as well. I was due to stay out there for like 11 weeks, I want to say. Was it 11 or 7? Something like that. It was, it was quite a long time. I, I We went out just the start of, like bang on the start of January, like the 2nd or whatever. And we're due to come back on the 14th of Feb. And I was like, within a week, two weeks, I was like, I've had enough. I can't, I can't do this anymore. I am quite a caring person, but it wasn't through not wanting to help my mum. It was for selfish reasons, like I wanted to see Joe. I needed to come back and get a job. I was stressing out about money again, and money is the root of all evil, isn't it? And I was like, no, I need to come home. So, literally, like, I just booked my flights to come home on the Monday. And my mum had a car accident on the Saturday. It was pretty devastating. She was in the car with my brother. They were both fine. He had a tiny little scratch on his hand. And my mum had just like quite a lot of bruising. She um, damaged something in her spine. Um, so she had to have emergency surgery a couple of weeks later. I say emergency surgery a couple of weeks. That sounds ridiculous, especially when it's not NHS. Um, but no, they didn't realize at the time she had a scan um, the day it happened, but everything was so swollen they couldn't see. So they'd obviously asked her to come back in like 10 days um, as a routine and then redid it and then discovered that something wasn't quite right. So had to have surgery. Anyway, that aside, um, I mean, that was quite a shock to me because I was in her house by myself and I get this text, had a car accident, call granddad at whatever airport, at uh, airport hospital, and I was like, I'm sorry, what? So, yeah, anyway, that was dealt with, I came home, and then I spent a couple of weeks with Joe. Um, as I did explain, when I did my Where Have I Been video, my most recent one, because I've probably done a couple of them in my time on YouTube, um, I'd explained that obviously I'd been at my mum's and then I went to Joe's for a couple of weeks just to spend a bit of time with him while I was looking for work and everything else. So eventually February or the end of February because obviously I came home end of Jan I think. Um, end of February I signed with an agency and it um, was just trying to get more experience in different working fields. I've only ever really worked in retail and hospitality um, in my whole working life. Um, so I just needed kind of some more experience in different areas and I didn't want to try and, well, I had tried to go about it myself anyway, but wasn't getting anywhere because I didn't have previous experience and I was just really struggling. So I was just like, well, thing is, what if I don't end up liking it, like doing admin or something like that? And so I was like, all right, let's just go to an agency. If I don't like it, it doesn't have to last, you know? So anyway, in March, I finally got a call to say, we've got a position, it's short term, which is what I wanted. It's, it's here, it's doing this, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yes, give me that, I'll take it. And I started and it has now been about six weeks. I've been there and I do really like it. It is quite stressful at the moment because they're going through some changes that we're obviously having to learn about and deal with um, for the wrath of the customer or clients. Um, and it's quite annoying because it's like, we don't have the other knowledge to really deal with these people um so it's quite stressful for us as temps because there's a couple of us there's well there is four of us although one has been off for like two weeks so i'm not sure if he's back this week or not um but anyway that's the kind of backstory of the last well i'd say since summer last year um and Throughout that time, I've kind of just had my days where I've just been like, I, c I can't do this anymore. I really can't do this. And one of those being today. 
and I don't know, I just wanted to kind of share it with you because this is real life. I am real life. I portray, I try and portray real life on my channel and I just want to kind of get it out there, show you me as I am, laying in bed with no makeup on, my hair's a fucking mess, I don't know what that is, and I'm having a really down day, like, it's verging panic attack, I have barely slept because my mind has been on one <laughs> all night, thinking, what if, what now, what, what, everything, and I, as a human, obviously, that is a natural thing. We all do that. We all think, what if, and what now, and everything. But I, as many, um, don't really know the answers and don't know how to cope with that. And obviously, there is no real way of coping with it and no real answers to that, those problems. But, again, me, like Mo, or like... <laughs> quite a large majority don't realise that and kind of kick ourselves for thinking why can't I fix this um, but yeah I don't know that was the longest rant about nothing I've ever done but basically today I'm going to have a me day I'm going to do things I want to do to make me feel better so I'm gonna eat chocolate for breakfast. I don't care. I probably gained the only weight I've managed to lose in the last month over the last two days back. Um, purely because I've been feeling like shit. And yes, I'm a binge eater. I don't care, I will happily admit that. Um, but I'm gonna have chocolate for breakfast, not giving a crap. I'm gonna go feed the cat like normal routine because unfortunately that still has to go ahead um not that it takes very long so that's fine i'm probably gonna stay in my sweats all day i'm gonna paint my toenails because they need doing and i'm just gonna spend some time with the cat just chilling having some cuddles he's literally like right there And just, yeah, I don't know, just having some me time. And I might even, if I feel up to it, try and film some videos because hell, I've been slacking lately. And it's genuinely something I really enjoy. Like, if I didn't have YouTube, fuck knows where I'd be. I swear to God, I would be crying right now if I didn't have this camera sat on my bed to talk to that sounds absolutely ridiculous but if you do youtube then you completely or i'm sure you would completely understand um what i mean but anyway it has been a good 15 minutes now so i'm gonna reply to these messages and i'll catch you later well, this is a bit bizarre you're sat on my proper tripod <laughs> on my bed now um so oh just to update it's 10 past no it's almost quarter past 10 um i have like you can probably see put some makeup on just to make me feel a little bit better i have got dressed although it is that suddenly turned really cold and gone really cloudy so i'm probably gonna put some jeans on now um, or leggings or something comfy. Um, I spoke to my sister briefly, like I said this morning, and she'd asked if I wanted to go around for a coffee. Um, once the twins go to school, apologies for the background noise, by the way, I had no idea what was going on. Somebody's doing something out there. Um, so yeah, they go to school about quarter past 12. Um, they're still at like play school. Um, so, I'm gonna head around there um, at around midday. But first, 
breakfast. I'm going to have some breakfast because I did say earlier that I was going to have some chocolate for breakfast. I had a little bit, um, but I do want to kind of eat something proper as well. I've had a banana actually as well and a cup of tea, um, but I'm going to have some fruit because it's like there's a fine line. There's like I want to eat shit. I really want to eat shit, but then I know I'm going to feel like shit for eating shit because I'm like, well. I haven't eaten healthy today, I haven't walked to and from the train station like I normally would, which burns like 500 calories, <laughs> so I really kind of need to be good today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go make like a fruit salad type thing quickly now um, and have that. Um, I have filmed a couple of videos, I filmed a first impressions on a mascara and I also filmed my makeup collection video, although I still need to do like the intro for it but they will be coming. Um, so I filmed them, I've had a little bit of a tidy up and stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill out for a bit, have some food, maybe have another cup of tea. Um, and yeah, I don't I don't really know. I might, I might actually watch some YouTube because I haven't actually caught up on anything yet and I'm like a month behind on Elle's videos. Um, Oh, I need to do some research as well. I was just talking to Joe about it, about um, when I move to his parents in June. Um, I need to kind of have a look into jobs and what I can do and what I'm gonna do and everything else. Um, so I'm gonna have a little look into that maybe and edit some videos. So it seems like I have a lot to do, but not a lot to do and it's all a bit meh, <laughs> but Anyway, I'm just going to show you this situation because this looks, it's fucking bizarre, like you wouldn't be able to tell just like watching this as it is, but look, this is you right now, uh -huh. so let's get you off that there tripod because you don't need to be up there mate, that's better, oh this light's quite nice isn't it, ooh, um, yeah, so gonna crack on with some stuff stuff and things I gather there's not quite a fruit salad, it's just a couple of strawberries and a couple of grapes. But I figure orange doesn't really go with that and I can't be bothered to, to open a tin of pineapple. So grapes and strawberries it is, shall I? We're not going to bed. No.
I, don't, I genuinely don't know what to say, but I just kind of wanted to share this with you to show that I may look absolutely fucking fine and that I'm not just talking about myself, I do have a towel on, but you may see your best friend, your brother, your sister, your auntie, your mum, they look absolutely fine and inside they're like this so just do I don't know be nice I guess and maybe just ask people how they are you may say that fine but if you ask the question how are you how are you feeling they may actually have needed that question for so long so I'm sorry to like to show you such a state of this. This is mental health. So I'm sorry if there's nothing else following this. I just need a couple of 